I would be lying to you if I did not consider skipping this 9 a.m. class just for a couple minutes this morning. Who is texting at this time? You're doing too much. What? I just decided to walk back from class because the bus wasn't coming. And now I'm so exhausted. I have a team meeting in like an hour and I'm hungry. I'm like starving, you guys. Like I literally am so hungry. So I'm going home to eat. And then I have my team meeting and then I have two classes back to back. And then I'm going to Zumba. So I have to change into my workout clothes. So Katie ended up doing really, really well on her like state testing. So I actually found this free Applebee's ice cream sundae from back when I was a kid that they gave um, out for like doing great things. So I'm just gonna give it to her because I'm not gonna use it. So, Katie! As always, I'm running late for this meeting. Gotta put, throw on some deodorant because I'm going to the gym after. Oh darn it, I dropped it. I got it. As always, I am late for my team meeting. <laughs> Oops, got out of class and ran into some of my friends. Literally, when you stay on campus, you actually see friends. But this is Vicky. Vicky and I go to Zumba every Monday. Except Vicky. today. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we decided not to do that, but we ended up getting coffee. Olena. She... There's a lot of impersonators in this world, you know? <laughs> you just can't keep up with them. But yeah, I'm headed home. I'm gonna drop her off at her house. Got a lot of work to do. And just, you know, got to get a hold of things. Life is, if you saw my snap story today, I'm the stink bug <laughs> in, the, in the snap story. Dexter. His name's Dexter, we named him Dexter, so. Today is not going as planned. I haven't done much of the stuff that I have like planned to do today, so I'm gonna start doing work now, but I did get a few things in the mail, and one of which was this new phone case. It's hope is the only thing stronger than fear. I just fell in love with this. Now I have to get to work, so let me see what it is that I have to do. I have to reply to a bunch of emails, so I'm gonna do that, but I think the first thing, priority numero uno, is to edit the uh, vlog from yesterday. So I finished editing the vlog, um, and I realized yesterday was such a more eventful day than today. So I think that when I get back, I might do like a really quick Q&A on Snapchat or something fun. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go to campus now to upload. Yay for not planning ahead, because I was at campus all day today. I'm not entirely sure how... Or what I'm doing. Oh, I smushed my mouth. Holy schmidt. I thought there was something outside my door, like an animal of some sort. And I got so scared. Did you guys see my reaction? I like just... I feel like I just had a heart attack. Oh, I'm locking the doors. Oh, I just... I need a minute. Oh. Okay, I need, I, now I have to tell you guys the story of the fox. On Monday, so I, I'm gonna probably just study. The building yeah. right outside of where I parked has a fire alarm going off right now. I definitely should have been done with this a long time ago, but I've been procrastinating on cleaning my office. So I decorated it up here so you guys can see like a pretty view when I'm filming videos, but I just have a disaster of a mess right in front of me. So I decided that I'm going to clean here and kind of deal with this while answering a couple of questions from Snap. My tea, this is the first I drink my coffee, then I do the things, but this is actually tea, so joke's on you. But I'm going to answer questions, talk to you maybe about my favorite products as I'm like cleaning them. Hi Alina, I was wondering what your favorite makeup brand was and whether or not you prefer a dewy or a matte foundation more. What was my favorite brand? It used to be like Urban Decay and stuff, but then I stopped using their products as much. Um, I would say that like it's honestly, it depends on the product. Like Anastasia makes bomb highlighters. Um, like I love 
Makeup Geek for their eyeshadows. I love Lorac for their eyeshadows. I love, oh my gosh, what are they called? The Balm. The Balm makes uh, bomb um, eyeshadows. But then, like, when it comes to foundations and skincare, um, skincare I love uh, It Cosmetics. They did a really great job with their new line. Um, foundation, I would say more Too Faced. They've made, like, really great um, concealers and, like, foundations. So it, like, varies. Like, I feel like every brand kind of wins and loses in different aspects of makeup. What was the second part of her question? Um, darn it, I don't remember. I'm going to rewatch the footage to see what her question was. <laughs> so blessed that I recorded that. Um, I prefer dewy foundations almost always. Hey, Olina. I'm literally sitting in my car. Just nothing. But my question is, what are you studying? Oh, what are you studying for and what's your career? She, like, wrote it. Good thing I, like, turned it around to see it. But um, I am studying to be, like, with supply chain management. Um, I, I am in the business school, pretty much. It's very, like, a vague, like, a way vague topic, and, uh, people will ask then after I say, like, oh, I'm studying supply chain, like, what in supply chain are you studying? Like, what do you want? And the truth is, I don't know, and I've been going to career fairs and stuff, and I just feel very overwhelmed, um, when it comes to like you know my future like i can't believe i have to make a decision now on who i want to work for and doing youtube you know like i i already have so much on my plate that like sometimes i want to just like you know sit down and just do youtube but at the same time like i went to school for four years i kind of want to like you know follow my career a little bit but in the end i probably want to end up working for myself i want i want to start something I want to create something I'm a very creative person whether it's a makeup brand or um, like room decor brand or clothing or I don't know I don't know what I want maybe I want to do like um, classes for makeup or I don't know create an app I'm not sure yet but if you guys actually this would be really interesting comment down below and let me know what you think that I should what you see me like when you watch my videos what do you think, like, a product that I could create would be that you'd want to see me create? Whether it's, like, room decor, um, mugs, <laughs> I don't know, like, things like that. Like, let me know what you think, when you think of me, like, you can see in, like, something that you'd want to buy. I don't know. It's really interesting to think about that. I, my question to you is, where is one place you would come to visit, and would you come visit the King of Prussia Mall? The King of Prussia Mall apparently is somewhere near me. I'm not entirely sure where it is, um, but I believe the question was where I would go if I... I have a really bad short-term memory. Um, where would I want to visit? I, like, definitely, like, definitely, 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 definitely want to visit um, more of Europe. It's just, like, so beautiful. Okay, I am looking for something. What was I gonna say? King of Prussia Mall. Let me see this. King of Prussia Mall. Where is that? Oh, it's in Pennsylvania. Um, maybe one day. Hey! That looks so great, babe. Um, oh, what is one show that you are currently watching that you are obsessed with? I don't like this. <laughs> that was a cute filter um but a show that i've been watching i am obsessed with blacklist and i am obsessed with what is the other one person of interest the person of interest hasn't been on um on netflix in a while so i've kind of just put a halt on that but blacklist they recently just added like more episodes so i watched them all I'm, like a very big binge watcher it sucks but then also at the same time, um, I've been watching New Girl. They put in new episodes. Luckily, um, I finished <laughs> uh, the ones that were available. So I can move on with my life. I, I look so bad, but like, how do you no. tell the difference between synthetic and um, natural hairbrushes? Um, you do not look disgusting, first of all. Please never start a snap like that. You guys are all beautiful in your own way. And I hate when people like look at um you know different 
like a different girl and they're like oh my gosh she's so pretty like just because another girl is pretty doesn't mean that that takes away from you like just because somebody else is successful just because someone else is beautiful does not mean that you are any less beautiful like unless you have a twin there's like nobody that looks exactly like you um, and even then your personalities are both very different and you bring very different things to the table so you can't just like neglect yourself like that but um what's the question oh synthetic versus real um synthetic number one are normally dyed like crazy colors but also synthetic are not as soft real hair it's just like it is so soft like it feels like 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 you're petting an animal Oh, that was hot. Oh. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. I don't know if you're still doing Q&A or whatever, but um, uh, if you are, my question is, what was your favorite school year and your least favorite? I love you too. Um, but my favorite school year, I think that's what she said. Um, school year, I hated freshman year of uh, high school. I got bullied and I like just, it wasn't fun. It wasn't fun at all. And then my favorite one was sophomore year because I ended up uh, bouncing back from it and the girl that wasn't nice to me basically kind of people just forgot that she existed and I it's not that I became popular I became more friendly and I started um, reaching out and not being so shy and so I was more willing to chat and talk to people that I have never chatted and talked to before and so all of a sudden all these people in school started knowing me and people would hear that like oh like alina 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 so i would be walking through the hall and I'd be like hey 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 and it doesn't mean i'm necessarily best friends with everybody but it does mean that i had good um like a good uh, relationship with everybody and so when this girl like you know the f funny thing is like the end of sophomore year like majority of people like if i told them something like oh like this girl they would be like who <laughs> like what <laughs> and that would make me so happy because i realized that you know, my love and my kindness to people was greater than the cruel and mean commentary that anybody could have given to me because it brought me out of a situation that I honestly would cry about every single night. It was not a fun time, but I wouldn't change it any bit. Like, I honestly am, am thankful that that girl did that to me. Although that's like a horrible thing to say, but I'm, I'm literally thankful because it changed the person that I am since I feel like I was on the wrong in the wrong direction at that time in my life i was just like kind of going with the flow with the people i was hanging out with but in reality they were making me like a horrible person and that's not the person i wanted to be so um because they like weren't so nice to me like it kind of gave me a an awakening of realizing like oh my gosh like what am i becoming and i stepped back looked in the mirror and i was like no from this moment on you are changing you are changing yourself because oh, who you are right now i would not be proud to like say that's who i am so um, I sat myself down and I was like, that's it from this moment on. You're going to be nice to everybody and you're going to stop choosing judgment because this girl is judging you and how does that make you feel? And I think it put me in perspective that like, wow, <laughs> you're a... <laughs> so, also fun fact, I got um, a wire to charge my phone and it's like it's super long. It's going to be great. I'm going to be able to charge my phone while I'm sitting here. And it's like wrapped around in like coil so it like won't bend or like break and just so excited, you know, it's the little things in life. Silly question, but Alina, are you gonna have another meetup soon? Let oh. me know. I look rough, so she's on here. <laughs> oh my gosh, Carla, I remember you. I remember you. I had a meetup way back when that was like my birthday meetup, and funny enough, I actually had it at a Subby's restaurant. Like, her dad owns some restaurants, and like, I ended up um holding my meet up there for my birthday and it turned out really great I had, it was like intimate it was like before you know my channel grew um so much in the past couple years but like it was just great because i got to like hang out um with you guys one-on-one -on -one, and i literally celebrated my birthday with you guys like we sat down we had cake like we ate like it was just so nice i learned so much about you guys and i just wish i could do that with everybody like i hate the fact that like I keep saying that, oh, I'm your friend, I'm your friend, but, like, in reality, we don't actually get a chance to hang out, and funny enough, like, I mean, um, I don't do it all the time, but there are a couple of people that, like, I mean, if I meet them, like, I've, I've hung out with a ton of subbies, um, granted, it's, like, it depends on where we are located and 
how alive I am and whatnot, but um, I have had coffee with subbies, I've had lunch with subbies, like I've hung out with you guys and I have no problem with that, I think that's cool and I think that's fun. Obviously I'm trying to be safe at the same time. But to answer the question, um, I don't know. I honestly do not know. Um, it's just ever since the Christina thing, it's been scary because most of my meetups I would hold just randomly at like some mall. And there's like no security, there's nothing, you know? And it's scary. Um, obviously, like, I mean, I don't think that would happen to me, but I think everybody does, but you never know who's in the world. Like, you don't know, and so it's scary. I've had, like, strange people show up to meetups before, and it's it's not fun because you don't, you just don't know what to do. You don't. You guys know I was looking for my, my, uh, tweezer recently. I found it. Whoa! Succeeding in life one step at a time. Okay, foundation. This goes somewhere. I'll just put it here for now. Then I always have like these random like caps from like foundation and I just have to like sit around and guess what it's from. I feel like the progress is not as much visible as it is felt. I put things in piles and tomorrow I guess I'll have to finish it. Still got more stuff over there too. It looks a little better from this side. Just a little bit. Tomorrow we're getting a new fridge. They're delivering it, so my mom took everything off of this. And she's gonna have to take everything out. It's kind of empty. But we got the cooler and everything going. We'll move the table over so that they can bring the fridge in through this door. Yep. That's the plan. I feel like I always set really big goals for myself. Um, what was that noise? Hey, so I'm currently doing some planning and like some work right now. I think it's like, oh my god, I don't even want to look at the time. Anyways, I realized I never told you guys what happened when I was outside. So one time I was coming in and as I made it to my front door, well like I was like halfway through my lawn, I turned around and I thought there was a cat coming to me and I was like, oh that's such a cute cat. Like the hay and then i realized it was a fox and it was like winter so it was like really cold everything was frozen for like a while now and uh, i think this fox either had rabies or it was really hungry and was planning on eating me or somebody in my neighborhood has been feeding it so it's like used to humans but basically our light on our garage automatically turns on so um i start like walking you know through my lawn when I realized it's a fox and I didn't know what to do and it, like it's running towards me like it's literally gaining on me so my first reaction is boo I said boo to a fox it kind of got scared and went behind my mom's car which was in the driveway and as I'm making it to the front door I can see it's like peering out and like waiting to either pounce or come to me so I freaked out and opened the door and like went inside and so I'm still traumatized from that event. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.